Hi guys! I'm Angie Din Lakdan and today on this video, I'm going to talk about Von Willebrand disease. Without further ado, let's get started. Von Willebrand disease is a blood disorder in which the blood does not clot properly. People with Von Willebrand disease either have a decreased quantity and quality of the Von Willebrand factor, which is a plasma glycoprotein that plays a key role in forming blood clot needed to stop bleeding. It was first described in the medical literature in 1926 with Dr. Eric Adolf Von Willebrand a Finnish physician who differentiated the disorder from classic hemophilia. Von Willebrand factor is synthesized and stored in the endothelial cells and megakaryocytes. Its synthesis is regulated by the Von Willebrand factor gene located on the short arm of chromosome 12. When there is a bleeding injury to a blood vessel, histamine and thrombin stimulate the local endothelial cells and megakaryocytes to release the von willebrand factor into the bloodstream and after its release it attaches to the exposed collagen fibers located in the wall of an injured blood vessels where it serves as a glue-like substance that sticks to platelets receptors known as glycoprotein 1b or simply gp1b within the bloodstream more of the von Willebrand factor it starts to bind more platelets together into a kind of a mass over which fibrin fibers deposit, forming a clot needed to plug the injured vessel and thus stop bleeding. In addition to binding platelets together, von Willebrand factor also binds and carries factor 8. Factor 8 plays a major role in the blood clot formation process and to work well, it is supposed to be bind to the von Willebrand factor because in this case, it is protected from early degradation by protein C and protein S which would remove it from the circulation before it does its job. Von Willebrand disease occurs with equal frequency among men and women, affecting up to 1% of the general population. However, women are more likely to experience symptoms of von Willebrand disease because of the increased bleeding it causes during menstrual periods, pregnancy, and after childbirth. Between 2012 and 2016, there were more than 14,600 reported cases of von Willebrand disease, and about two-thirds of it were women and girls. In the Philippines, there are less than 20 known cases, but unfortunately, there are no facilities in the country that can diagnose von Willebrand disease. There are three major types of von Willebrand disease. We have type 1, type 2, and type 3. For type 1, which is the most common and mildest form of von Willebrand disease, here, the person has lowered the normal levels of von Willebrand factor and factor 8. For type 2, although the body makes normal amounts of the von Willebrand factor, the factor doesn't work the way it should. Type 2 is further broken down into four subtypes. We have type 2A, 2B, 2M, and 2N. In type 2A, the von Willebrand factor is not the right size and doesn't help the platelets attach together in order to form a clot. In type 2B, the von Willebrand factor attaches the platelets at the wrong time. The body removes the platelets attached to von Willebrand factor, causing a reduced amount of both platelets and von Willebrand factor in the blood when needed to form a clot. In type 2M, the von Willebrand factor does not attach to the platelets as it should, which decreases the platelet's ability to form a clot when an injury occurs. In type 2N, the von Willebrand factor attaches to the platelets normally. However, the von Willebrand factor does not attach to factor 8, which causes the body to remove the factor 8 protein. Lastly, we have type 3 the most severe and rarest form of von Willebrand disease in which a person has very little or no von Willebrand factor and low levels of factor 8. Only 3% of people with von Willebrand disease have type 3. Most people who have von Willebrand disease are born with it. It almost always is inherited or passed down from a parent to a child. While rare, it is possible for a person to get von Willebrand disease without a family history of the disease, and this can happen if a spontaneous mutation occurs 
or there has been a change in the person's gene. Once the child has it, he or she can later pass it along to his or her children. Also, it is possible for a person to get or acquire von Willebrand disease later in life because of an underlying medical condition or use of a medication. The specific symptoms and severity of von Willebrand disease can vary greatly from one person to another. Mild symptoms associated with von Willebrand disease include mild bleeding from the mucous membranes and the skin, like nosebleeds and bleeding from the gums, easy bruising, heavy and prolonged bleeding from minor cuts, during menstrual period, childbirth, trauma, dental procedures, or surgery. More serious but uncommon complications can include gastrointestinal bleeding, solid swellings of congealed blood, and bleeding into the muscle and joints which can cause progressive joint damage and degeneration. A diagnosis of von Willebrand disease is based upon identification of characteristic symptoms, a detailed patient and family history, a thorough clinical evaluation, and a variety of specialized tests. Such tests may measure the amount of von Willebrand factor, how well it functions, the amount of factor 8, and the ability of the blood to clot. These tests include complete blood count or CBC test, activated partial thromboplastin time or APTT test, prothrombin time or PT test, and fibrinogen test. Other blood tests that a doctor can order include factor 8 clotting activity, von Willebrand factor antigen, restocytin cofactor or other von Willebrand factor activity, von Willebrand factor multimers, and platelets aggregation test. There is no cure for von Willebrand disease, but there are safe and effective treatments which varies depending on the subtype and severity of the disorder. First, we have desmorphosine, which is the first line therapy for this disease. However, it is not indicated for individuals with most types of type 2 and type 3 due to its inefficiency and poor response. Individuals who do not respond to treatment with desmopressin may require replacement therapy which replaces the proteins that are defective or missing from the blood. Some individuals with superficial bleeding may be treated with fibrin blue or sealants which hold platelets together to strengthen a clot. Additional therapies for von Willebrand disease include hormonal contraceptives such as birth control pills, Drugs known as antifibrinolytics such as aminocaproic acid or amicor and tranexamic acid like ciclocapron and listida. While drugs that must be avoided include aspirin, drugs that contain aspirin, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs, and blood thinners such as warfarin and heparin. To put it in a nutshell, von Willebrand disease is a lifelong blood disorder where there is a quantitative and qualitative deficiency in von Willebrand factor. Though it occurs with equal frequency in both gender, women are more likely to experience symptoms. The three major types of von Willebrand disease include type 1, type 2, and type 3. And the four subtypes of type 2 are as follows, type 2A, 2B, 2M, and 2N. Most cases of this disease are inherited but it is possible for it to be acquired due to medical condition and medication. Mild symptoms include mild bleeding in mucous membranes and skin like nosebleed and heavy bleeding during menstrual period, while severe symptoms include bleeding in the muscle and joints that may result to joint damage and degeneration. Diagnosis comprise of activated partial thromboplastin time or APTT test, prothrombin time or PT test, pistocytin cofactor, factor 8 clotting activity, and von Willebrand factor antigen. Currently, there is no cure for von Willebrand disease, but here are some treatments that might help. Desmopressin, replacement therapy, fibrin glue or sealant, hormonal contraceptive like birth control pills, antifibrinolytics drugs like Amicor, ciclocapron, and Listida, while you should avoid aspirin, drugs with aspirin content, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like NSAIDs and blood thinners like heparin and warfarin if you have von Willebrand disease. And that will be all. I hope you learned something from this video. Bye!